is another story time video, but uh, it's not any normal story time. This story time is a very special story time. Everything that happens takes place in my hometown of Melbourne, Australia. About six months ago, I got to know this guy by the name of Wurtger Marx. You know, Wurtger was a nice guy, I would say, but something was really, really off about him, you know? He didn't seem normal. In other words, he was a cheeky, cheeky bastard. He was a little cheeky twat. So the first time I actually ever met Wurtger Marx, I was in the hallway of my school. I was, you know, walking down the hallway and I just see him pop out of the corner. And he's like, hey. If I can remember correctly, he made this weird noise, kind of like this. <laughs> and uh, I was really not expecting that at all. Wrecker scared me like super topar. He introduced himself to me as Vutka Max, and then he asked me to go to the lunch line with him after he spooked me, but I told him no, cause Zmuda caught me taking from the lunch line. So I was banned from the lunch line, so I could not get lunch that day. But he invited me to hang out after school, so, you know, we, we've kicked back, we chilled. Uh, yeah, we just hung out, played some Xbox, played Minecraft, played Roblox. So we hung out that first day. It was pretty fun, but I had to go home, so I was like... <coughs> From there on out, we hung out occasionally. Maybe once a month, twice a month. Uh, you know, we chilled, we kicked back, we robbed jewelry stores. And, and then... Out of the blue, he sent me a photo. Now, the photo he sent me wasn't one of the types of photos you planned for. It's one that you were not expecting to receive. This right here was the exact phone I received it on. Let me show you what Rucker sent me first hand. Holy cow! When I saw the picture he sent me, I could only say one thing. No! I cannot believe it. Rekka sent me nudes. My best friend sent me nudes. I didn't know what to do. I was bewildered. When he sent me that photo, my whole world started spinning. It was crazy. And it just didn't stop. Every single day, I got reminded of it. Every single time I had homework, I would just... Blow it off to go look at the next picture Rekka sent me. My womb became a pigsty. Rekka just kept sending and sending them and I just kept accepting and accepting them and I didn't know what to do. Everything going on in my life seemed to just suddenly stop. <laughs> I decided there was only one possible solution to this issue. I was going to confront him at school. So the next day at school, I'm walking down the hallway and I see him and I think, oh, my perfect opportunity. So I take out my baseball bat that I have in my backpack and I hit him on the head with it. And he never woke up. Um, you could say that it was an overreaction. I mean, you could even say that I acted a little violently. I'll admit to it. But at the end of the day, I did nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing. I mean, if he didn't want to be killed, then he shouldn't have sent me that photo. Talk about really, really OP. Well, that's just about it for this episode. Uh, see you guys later. So I see wonder why she like me, bitch, I'm